iodine allergy is a lie. If you've been told by your healthcare provider that you're allergic to iodine, then you have been misled. There are three rough ways in which people think that they are allergic to iodine, and I'm gonna talk about all three in this video. Uh, the first is, is if you have a seafood allergy. Many people assume, since seafood is rich in iodine, that they must have an iodine allergy. This is completely and totally untrue. You're allergic, at least temporarily, to a specific protein in the seafood. It has nothing to do with the iodine. A lot of people think they have a, an allergy to povidone iodine or betadine, which is a iodine-rich skin scrub that disinfects the skin before a surgical procedure. Again, it's the nitrogenous structure of povidone that you're allergic to. It's not the iodine itself. And then thirdly, a lot of people had a reaction to a radiological contrast dye. They got a, a, an intravenous infusion of a contrast media for a CAT scan or for an IVP or for some other diagnostic study. And they reacted to that, perhaps with flushing, sweating, nausea, and vomiting. And then therefore they think that they are allergic to iodine. Again, this is absolutely not true. And I'll tell you how I know. Every cell in the human body that's ever been studied has been discovered to have something called a sodium iodine co-transporter. So there's a little transporter on each membrane of every cell in your body that transports iodine into the cell. Now, human bodies and human cells don't transport things into, into the cell actively unless the cell actually needs it. Now, there may be some human body cells that don't have this uh, transporter and therefore don't necessarily need iodine, but every single cell we've ever studied has this co-transporter and needs iodine on the inside of that cell for optimal function. Now, some cells, like cells in your in your thyroid gland, in your mammary glands, and in your salivary glands, we absolutely know that they concentrate iodine. Therefore, they need a high percentage of iodine. So if you are depleted in iodine, you're not getting enough iodine, and these, these glandular tissues are definitely going to suffer. But also every other body in your uh, every other cell in your body is going to suffer as well. So if any healthcare provider has told you that you're you have an iodine allergy, you immediately know that they don't really understand human physiology that much, or they wouldn't say such a stupid thing. And in the case of a healthcare provider who's supposed to know about these things, I would consider that a lie. If I were able uh, to, in the, the old tradition of the televangelist, put your hand on the, the YouTube screen, if I were able to reach into your body and pull out every element of iodine in your body, you would die within an hour. That's how vital iodine is to the function of every cell in your body. Iodine is an essential mineral. That means that your body can't make it, and it means that you have to have it in your diet or you will get sick you will suffer and you will die. Telling you that you're allergic to iodine is just one of many lies that your healthcare provider may have told you. I list a lot of other healthcare provider lies in my book, Lies My Doctor Told Me. It's available where books are sold. If you're severely depleted in iodine, then you need to watch my video about iodine-rich foods and maybe supplement for a while with something like J. Crow's 2% iodine solution. Each drop has about 1,000 micrograms of iodine in it. Once you've got your iodine stores repleted and you want to keep your iodine stores full, then you can use something like Keto Chow's Daily Mineral Drops, which contain all the minerals you need, one of which is iodine. So if you'd like more information about why you need iodine, why iodine is essential and vital for optimal human function, then watch this video. If you'd like to know a list of iodine-rich foods, then watch this video. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.